Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the workshop. It is fantastic to have you here as ever because we're going to be making screwdrivers out of Damascus steel. You remember, I made up some Damascus steel a little while ago when I made the Damascus ring. This is the other half of the steel that we used, and this is just about enough material for two small to medium sized, awesome looking vintage style integral bolster, integral butt cap screwdrivers. This is going to be really, really cool. Damascus screwdrivers, lots of fun. We're going to do some twisting on this steel to make the pattern look all pretty and stuff like that. Let's get to it. Absolutely. I'm gonna twist it, so I'm gonna get the wrench sized up for it so that we don't waste any time with at the top of that heat. How tight of a twist are you gonna do? Fairly tight. No, very tight. Very, very tight. So I've just gone ahead and forged these out. First I twisted the Damascus to create a more interesting pattern because as it was, the pattern was just on the end grain. And so twisting it helped bring out that pattern. After that, I went ahead and I forged out these two screwdrivers. I did a Phillips head and I did a flat head. Forgings are a little bit rough. That's okay though, because the further that you grind in to twist Damascus, the better the pattern is. So I've got quite a bit of grinding to do right now. And so now we're gonna go into the grinding room and start to clean these guys up.
What's going on, Will? So we've got to clean a couple things up before we're ready for the heat treat on this, but it's totally shaped, ground. Uh, the facets are looking fabulous. Those need to get cleaned up a little bit too. The biggest thing that I'm going to work on right now, this butt cap back here is actually out of square a little bit. I freehanded it in. I just need to go back with some files. Actually, I probably don't even, I don't, I don't even know if I'm going to need to go to files, but I'm going to need to clean that up a little bit, get that a little bit more even before we're ready for the heat treat. The other side is looking pretty good, but it'll use a little bit more squaring up as well. It's just looking phenomenal. This is going to be the world's most awesome, I mean, the world's most awesome screwdriver. It very well may be. I tried to look up, there's no pictures of any Damascus screwdrivers on the internet that I could find, and no pictures of other nice handmade screwdrivers. So this, once it gets maybe some, some gems set in it by a certain current camera operator right now, and some That's me. beautiful wooden Cocobolo curly scales, it's gonna be freaking cool. <laughs> Well, well, we're we're getting there. We're certainly getting there. I drilled an awful lot of holes yesterday. None of them are centered up. So moving forward, I'm gonna end up doing perimeter pins on it because the centering just didn't work out. But the rest of it is looking really good. The other thing that I need to touch up is the shoulders for the front bolster are a little bit canted forward, which not the end of the world, but we're gonna fix it. Because safe edge file. Safe edge file. Absolutely. Uh, but other than that, it's, it's looking really nice. So a good day's work put in on this guy. Uh, looking forward to finishing this thing out. It's gonna be pretty dang sweet, so make this, sure you follow along. Oh yeah, this is gonna be definitely the world's coolest screwdriver. So. I mean, you've just done a phenomenal job making this thing so far, taking knife making skills, applying them to the world of torsion. Frankly, I think this is just going to be revolutionary in the, in the screwdriver industry. So this is a <laughs> thrilling project. <laughs> Make sure you guys subscribe so you can see what Will does to this to then get it to the point that I'm then going to do something to it too. This is going to be a, this is going to be a really, really cool project. I can't wait to bring you guys along with this great work. Will, thank you guys for watching. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.